as we celebrate World Water Day, let's break down some of the current realities around water globally. We're joined by David Katende. He is the CEO of leading water and energy solutions company, uh, Davis and Shirtliff. You're very welcome to the studio. Thank sir. you very much, Richard. And happy World uh, Water Day. And the same <laughs> to you. Yeah. Now, this, of course, the theme of, uh, of World Water Day this year is no one left behind. Mm -hmm. uh, when we look at the stats from UNICEF and mm -hmm. uh, the WHO, uh, I think, nearly mm -hmm. a billion people uh, today live without access to clean uh, drinking water. So give me a sense of the scale of the problem. Yeah. It's uh, for, for Africa, speaking for our continent, it's quite dire because the, the truth of the matter is that we tend to go from one extreme, like right now in Kenya and in, a, in the surrounding region, it is very, very dry. We've mm -hmm. got some people who do not have enough water to drink and then uh, not very far from us, there's been this cyclone that uh, has uh, got people who have so much water around them uh, that they, they just do not know what to do. Mm. And so what tends to happen is we go from one extreme of not having enough water to having too much water and then just not being well prepared. Mm. So it is, I think in, in many parts of Africa, it's like 60% of the people do not have access to clean potable water within easy reach. Right. That is a serious problem. Yeah, it is a serious problem. And of course, your company, it does deal with water uh, solutions, especially in East and Central Africa. So give me a sense of uh, what your thoughts are mm -hmm. uh, on what needs to be done, uh, especially to ensure that everyone has access to clean water. And of yeah. course, how are we handling some of these huge challenges okay. on the continent right now? Well, Davis & Shirtliff is actually a, uh, a, a, an old company. We're over 70 years old and we have uh, represented products from Europe uh, for many, many years, companies like Grundfos and Pedrolo, European brands. But we also have our own brand called Daylif, and that is something that we have uh, recently introduced, which is much more pocket friendly. And I think one of the issues that people face is that sometimes the, you need equipment that is affordable and, uh, and that does the job efficiently. Water is very, very precious, and we all need to value it more. Mm. Those who are fairly privileged need to appreciate it. And I personally don't think that water should be given for free. I know there are some such situations where uh, people are absolutely desperate and they just need to be given the water. But generally, the point I'm making is that it is a precious, precious commodity. And we cannot afford to waste even a drop. Mm. And so in, the, in finding solutions, we tend to point fingers at the government and mm. saying they haven't done this and they haven't done that. Sure. But what about you and me, Uche? Mm. Have we mm. been storing water when it's plentifully available and then, and then utilizing it as well as we can, not wasting it, recycling it, reusing it, and, uh, and eliminating waste? Right. Those are some of the most important things that everyone needs to be Very quickly, you did talk about a product of. you have. Yes. How does that work? Okay. Well, we have water pumps uh, that are used to just take water from one place to another. And most recently, we're using a lot of solar energy. And I must tell you something, the best kept secret is many people think that solar solutions are expensive. But actually, the cost of the solar module or the solar panel has come down, it's as halved and halved again in the last 10 years. And so it is much more affordable than it used to be. So some of the solutions we're using now are solar powered uh, borehole pumps to take water out of the ground. And then we're using water treatment equipment just to cleanse the water, to remove things like fluoride and floating sub suspended solids in the water to make it more affordable. Mm -hmm. And, and so those, those kinds of solutions right. uh, are things that and should be considered. And of course our project is, is in the region right yeah, now. Yeah, we've just recently done one with Meru in, right. in, in, in Kenya yeah. and also in Uganda. Okay. Uh, in Meru it was with the county government and in Uganda it was uh, some of like the Danish Refugee Council in the Norwegian and the Ugandan government. Now we're running out of time but I want to get your uh, sense on what you think are the greatest challenges uh, to especially achieving that SDG goal which says yeah. uh, avail water for all by 2030. Do, you, do yeah. you think that's realistic? What are the biggest challenges? Well 2030 is not far away from now but uh, the, the biggest thing that it's marginalized people and poor people, people who have had to move away from their homes, who have been forced away from by migration. And so that is a real problem that causes people to uh, not have water available to them. But we've just got to work together with governments and with uh, local provincial uh, counties and as individuals do our bit to make sure that everyone has water because it is life.
Mm. Well, Sunny would have loved to discuss further with you, but we've run out of time. That's but thank fine. you so much for joining us Thanks for having uh, me, in the Jay. studio and, of course, for your insights. Thank you. Uh, of course, that was Mr. David Gatende. He's the CEO of uh, Davis and Shirtlift.